light of the world makes compromises with no one. May God bless you today. This is Naftali. And we're going to talk about a subject today that is particularly very sensitive amongst a lot of people. However, it's very important to talk about. Because if we forget this very important fact, we can go along our entire lives fooling people and fooling ourselves. You see, what has happened with the gospel a lot of people, they've started out with great intentions. They've wanted to preach the gospel. Just as an example, Creflo Dollar Ministries. Um, do you know that his first service was in 1986? And it was held in a church cafeteria with just him and eight people. Their main goal was to preach the word of God and uh, seek God the best way they could. In fact, they even held it in the cafeteria. Look how humble that was. He's gone from preaching the word of God in a cafeteria with just eight people to now creating his own prosperity gospel theology and fooling many directly into hell. When a person changes the message and compromises the message for anyone, that person is immediately in serious danger you see in churches in America I don't know if you noticed this but everything has become a routine in churches as an example you go to church you sing three songs pass the collection plate and a little 20 minute sermon and that's it there's no room for the Holy Ghost to move anymore we want healing we want revival but we've compromised our time with God for the sake of having two or three services on a Sunday afternoon. Because why? The more services we have, the more people come in, the more people donate, the church grows bigger and bigger and bigger. Because to people nowadays, a prosperous church is a church that has a beautiful building. A prosperous church is a church that has twenty, thirty thousand dollars saved up in a fund. That's what to most church is. Church is now a business. They've made compromises. They've taken the light of Jesus Christ and they've distorted it. What you're looking at the screen right now, you're looking at a black room. It's just a visual example. And here's the light of Jesus Christ, the light that you're supposed to shine through you. And look how beautiful it lights up the room. Yes, there are areas which are dark, but that's the point. You're there to let the sh light shine through you. You see, the Word of God says in Matthew 5, 13 through 16, You are the salt of the earth. But if men lose the saltness, how can, it be, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do the people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on the stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. What happens is, people go from this, which is a room where the light of Jesus Christ is shining all through it, to this. You're now seeing that that person has made a compromise and this is what it looks like when you make little compromises with the light okay when you make compromises with the gospel okay you you you're basically in a room that your light cannot shine through it why because you've compromised the word of god for people i have a chat at tallyforgod.com and i have two people that go there that are wiccans and pagans and they come there every single day and just because they go there every single day that does not mean that we're not going to preach to them the gospel just because we're friendly that does not mean that we're not going to preach to them the gospel there have been times where things have gotten heated because all we do is just continuously preach the gospel um, to them and, and and to be honest with you i don't know how 
<laughs> Every single day, all we do is preach the gospel to them, and 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 and. But there's something that is continuously bringing them back to the chat. I don't know what it is. Okay, but if they were to come to that chat, and they were to see that we're simply making compromises with the gospel, that in order for to to keep peace or to or to make amends, we don't preach. We don't tell them about Jesus. We don't stand up for Jesus. And we say, okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right for you to do what you got to do. Imagine what kind of a witness we would be. We would not be doing what God called us to do. And see, this is what's happening. The devil wants people to think that it's okay for you to make compromises. It's okay to do um, what the world wants me to do. Because you know what? God always hanged out with the... With the with the sinners, God always uh, was a social type of a God, and He um, visited a lot of people. He ate with them. You have to remember when He was with them, when He ate with them, when He hung out with them. His main purpose was preaching the gospel. So if you're using that as an excuse for you to do what you got to do, analyze it with Scripture. Are you preaching the gospel in the position that you're putting yourself in? Or are you doing it to please your own little pleasures? That's the reality of it. Light makes compromises with no one. The word of God is clear. You will be hated for preaching this gospel. This gospel is a beautiful thing. And I don't get it why so people are so mad about it. All we're offering people is a free gift of salvation. <laughs> that Christ paid the price for our sins. Yet people reject it because we're not of this world. So since you're not of this world, today you have to make a choice. That choice is simple. But make a choice. In John 8, 12. Then spake Jesus against unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. If you're a person who truly follows Jesus Christ, you will not compromise the word of God for anyone I don't care who it is it could be your mom it could be your dad it could be your best friend who is an unbeliever okay and it's telling you you know what stop preaching to me please just stop preaching to me just don't don't talk about Jesus around me I'm so sorry for you I'm a person who's a born-again believer I'm a person who's saved by the grace of God I cannot deny my Jesus I cannot deny my Savior if you're truly my friend, if you're truly my family member, you will respect that. And if you can't, then tough. Because I am a servant of God above it all. When you come to Jesus Christ, it's going to be one of the most toughest decisions you've ever made. A lot of people paint to you the gospel as a gospel that when you come to Jesus Christ, you're going to have a BMW. Um, everything's going to be so peaceful. No. Problems will come. Obstacles will come. But as the word of God in Luke 12, 22 through 31 says, do not worry about any of that. Your concern is to seek the kingdom of God because you are not of this world. And because you're not of this world, the world is going to hate you. If they hated Jesus, they will hate you. But Jesus did not make compromises with the gospel. Neither shall you. Stay strong. May God bless you very, very much. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Hope you understand that um, when God gives me something, I have to bring it forth for you. And my main concern here is that you apply this to your life. And you just don't click on the next video and forget about this. May God bless you very, very much. And I hope you have an awesome afternoon.